graphical user interface is probably one of the more uh, important elements of designing a video game simply because this is the actual way the user interacts with the game itself. Broken Mirror 3 has two key inspirations which its concept is derived from. The original Broken Mirror which had this kind of rocky look to its um, interface and from Star Trek Online. So we've been kind of working on integrating these two aspects, these two games together to form Broken Mirror 3. Now when we design um, the interface, there's two key considerations, which is the functionality versus the aesthetics of the user interface. The functionality is probably the most important of uh, the two, simply because if it's not functional, if it's uh, cluttering up the screen, it severely detracts from the game itself. Another key aspect in the functionality is this idea that there's different monitors and different monitor resolutions, which means things will look different on different monitors. To get around that, the Broken Mirror 3's current UI is a modular design so that the elements can be shuffled around on the screen so that they will adjust to, say, full screen monitors and widescreen monitors. Unity allows us the ability to address these uh, different concerns regarding monitor resolutions. What we do is what we call adaptive resolution where the UI will scale based on the user's monitor. So currently I'm designing at a really really large pixel rate so that for the, like the largest size monitor we can have a still really high quality UI but at the same time in Unity it'll scale down based on the smaller monitor resolutions. We also of course have a very intensive testing process where we have to send off many alpha builds of the program to our alpha testers and so that they can test out simply how functional the user interface is. With the aesthetics, I'm a little less concerned with that at the moment. It's a little bit more about making sure that everything is located and that its arrangement works. So currently we have kind of like a a pre-design of the user interface which is more or less just a grayscale design. The UI has already gone through several concepts. The actual way that we approach designing the UI has changed since the very first draft. The very first draft we were trying to address all the things that might be in the game ahead of when they were actually implemented. The new approach is not to design an element until we've actually programmed it into the game or are very close to programming it into the game. Similarly we continually streamline the design uh, just finding better variations of how to make everything fit. Well, that's it for the graphical user interface. Remember that you can subscribe to our YouTube channel to see any previous uh, development logs, and we're also posting uh, clips from the game as we design it as well. Also remember to like our Facebook page for quick and usually daily updates on the game's progress.